Hi there. I regret start teaching how to install 3JS using NPM. I regret a lot because it is not needed. Uh, after one year trying to teach him the best way to learn to become 3 developer student, 3 developer programmer, 3 developer game developer, 3D game developer, I mean, I start, I find the best way to install 3JS using just vanilla JavaScript, using EFII, Immediate Invoke Function Execution, and, and namespaces. But that are technical things that you don't have to concern about. Today, based on the research of my YouTube channel, as you can see the violet line, tell me the most researched watched video was installation 3JS installation with npm which is no good for me it's not good for them it's not good for anyone you can do it but if you don't know how to do it it's not the best idea try to install 3JS using okay there are too many for uh, documentation using this way but it's not the best the best is just vanilla javascript because you don't have to learn some tools to learn 3JS. You just can learn 3JS without tools. So you don't have to over engineering your learning path. So that's why we are going to start right now creating a 3JS installation, installation sorry, project. Um, right now in this way. This is too easy, but we need to teach it anyway. Index.html, HTML, we can put some name, installing 3JS without npm if you by the way if you want to learn how to do it you have to go to that video which is in the corner top right of the video and continue watching this video but if you want to learn the best way wait just a minute so here we have to place this tag js 3js library and then start working in this way src index.js and this is the very important step that you have to follow this second script have to be a module type module in this way you can continue working using the ECMAScript 6 uh, syntax which allows you isolate and modularize your code and it's going to be easy to copy and paste and reuse the code you can use so this is the first step create an HTML file with these linked files JS files and the second step is going to Mm, no mixamo this is the second step the second video which is the most watched in my channel we are going to go to 3js official website here we have the documentation uh, we are going to go again if you go to this website and then you go to the first link in the left column is the documentation there you go straight to there, you get a tutorial, beginner tutorial, to get in a start tutorial. And in the second paragraph, in the second part, 
you have you have this link you click on it you can copy all the content sorry control a control c go back to the our project which is this one and then pay attention press control and holding control pressed and then go into this link uh, visual studio code tells you there is no such a file by the way do you want to create one in the same place in the, with the same name yes sure i want it so 3j uh, visual studio code create the file for you and then you can just paste the code uh, as you can see, I say this is the immediate invoke function execution. It is not, but <laughs> sorry for that. But because there are many uh, libraries we are going to use in that way, but this, this is not the case because we don't see this uh, parentheses at the end. Sorry for that. But something that we are using is the uh, namespace the namespace which is three with capital letters i where is it i don't know control f we're going to check we are going to we are looking for the three capital okay in some way it's there <laughs> you will see it. we can go to the first one to the last one okay doesn't matter what i want to teach you is there is a namespace <laughs> special namespace when you are working with this way in this way which is using the three capital letter namespace after that you can use in your library the objects starting with the namespace three three with capital letter dot and then the object or the function or the tool that you want to use so this is just things tangential things things i want to mention with you after all we can go to after that we can go and do the same with the entry point entry point js5 which is the place where we are going to put our code to create our game or our project or our canvas into our website and here you can copy and paste if you want it's not my way it is not my way you can copy and paste all the javascript code needed for example all this stuff it is i i, I repeat this is not my way but as you can see, okay, let me, you can see we are using the three capital letter dot uh, namespace. So this suggests something that we have to do, which is incorporate, um, where is it? It's canvas here. No, it is not. It isn't. So I well, yeah, this is something that we can add to our project. The style because of the margin. This is a tiny, 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 really tiny detail. So now if we run our application, we will see our cube spinning. Uh yeah. This is I, I repeat, this is not my way. This is not my favorite way to do some stuff i prefer modularize use the import and export modules for the scene the camera the renderer the geometry no not geometry all this stuff in one module all this stuff in another module this other line in other module this other one in other module um yeah in order to keep isolated and reusable the modules that's all fine now if you want to see how to install 3JS using npm go to that video i told you before maybe i will put here right now not before because in that case you go straight to the that video you don't see don't watch this one 
but yeah that's all by now remember this face this is the teacher uh, who want to make money teaching this kind of stuff kind of stuff so remember following subscribe and have a good day see you in the next video which is going to talk about fbx loader in 3js which is a kind of tricky way because we need to incorporate two libraries extra libraries but yeah that's all bye